Hello everybody, welcome to my home. This is a session of cooking for a husband and wife who have just started working and they've just started moving into a new house. Now I'm going to teach you how to prepare sweet and sour pork in a very fast way and it tastes fantastically delicious. Now let's take a look at the ingredients that we need. We need some normal kind of pork, any kind of pork will do. And how do you get to this stage? Is when you pour soya sauce, um, sesame seed oil, mix it around with your hands, add a bit of corn flour, and that will do. And leave it, let it sit for about 15 minutes. Other ingredients we need, cut garlic, stalks of spring onion, chili, a little bit of honey, sambal sauce, uh, cut onions into wedges, tomato ketchup, as you can see I'm using McDonald's because I realized that my house didn't have tomato sauce, uh, chili sauce, one cup of sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's, and some peas. Okay, we'll be back shortly to start cooking, and now we take a break. Sweet and sour pork. First of all, most important thing you need to do is to get a hot pot of oil boiling, then you can deep fry your sweet and sour pork. So to make it simple, get a small pot, too big, you will use a lot of oil, a uh, just nice small pot will do. So you make sure the oil is hot. How do you see the oil is hot? Come closer. You can see that when you put something wooden in it, the oil will start fluttering. Once the oil starts fluttering, you put your sweet and sour pork piece by piece in the fry. Okay? As you can see, by the testing of one piece, you know that this, is, this oil is not hot enough yet. Okay? If not, you will just go fish. Okay? You just keep adding them. Okay? And make sure you stir around a little bit. Because if not, you will stick to the base of the pan because the pork is heavy. But okay? well, you can see that the pork strips are cut very small slices. It's cut very small pieces so that, as my friend in. Now I can see the pork is still being deep fried now. Okay, the color is not right yet. You will see it a little bit golden brown. Okay, then you will, you will be considered as it's almost ready. But you just continue frying it until you see that the edges are brown. You can see now, you're going to keep stirring it so that the, the pork does not, does not stick onto the pan. Yeah? It's getting very hot in the kitchen. Now, the next dish we're going to finalize, finally cook is just now, remember, we deep fry the pork. Okay, now we're going to cook the sweet and sour pork. Okay, it's not a lot of pork, but it's just nice for two people. Okay, use a fresh pan because just now we we'll cook the, 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 the fried rice and the uh, sweet potato leaf. We already got a lot of sambal taste in it. Now we don't want the, the sweet and sour pork to taste sambal because it's supposed to be sweet and sour. Okay, not uh, not uh, salty and spicy. Okay, very simple. Okay, heat up your new pan. Okay, just now you got cooked finish the sambal. Uh, keep straight away. Don't wait until last minute. Come and keep. Okay, we'll go through the ingredients of the sauce again. We got some peas here. Okay, some peas, garlic. One chili, okay. Tomato ketchup squeezed from McDonald's. All right. Chili sauce, you know, spring onions, onions, some more chili here, some honey, and this one I don't know why my wife took it out, but never mind. It's okay. You can just keep it around. Okay? You took it out, not me. So while you're heating up the pan, you can here take uh, something wet and see if the pan is hot enough. If the water ev evaporates immediately, so now we just take a bit of oil will do. Okay. A bit will do, huh? like maybe two spatula full of oil will do. Huh? Always people say, Sao Shi La, how many oil? Uh, use what I measure. You know, their equipment all different from ours. Okay, always, always, huh? put the put the onions in first. Okay? Onions must always go in first, because onions take longer to cook. I just learned that from, uh, I told you that, I told you that, I told you that, Heat up the onions a little bit, so the onions is a bit transparent, but don't need to chop them up. They are in there for flavouring the sauce. Okay? Like that, your onion and chilli. Okay? Garlic. Uh, garlic and chilli. Okay? Again, we don't use minced... Again, we don't use minced uh, garlic here because uh, it's too minty, cinnamon, and it's not very garlicky like pork. Okay, after that, take your honey. Honey is the first one you caramelize. So take your honey, take your cream spoon, scoop. Just one tablespoon of honey will do. This will give you a sweet taste. Okay, if you don't have honey at home, you can use, uh, what is that? You can use uh, sugar. Okay. Plum salt? Or plum salt, huh? 
but we don't have one sauce from my one spoon of one sauce with Okay? After you put the honey, you put the tomato ketchup in. Okay? Stir it. Okay? Put that in the chili sauce. Okay? Pour your chili sauce as well. This is what Aga Aga will do lah, huh? Two tablespoons, three tablespoons, depending on what you need. To make things a little more interesting, put the sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's in it as well. Just to give it a bit of sweet and sour and more taste. You want to try this one? Okay. 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 I think the leftover peas are so I do. Peas are very useful because they don't really need much cooking because they are already cooked and they are frozen. Alright, so take them out. Okay. Okay, just remember, uh, we don't need any salt, don't need any pepper. If not, health promotion board will come look for me. Uh. Too much salt, not good for the body. Uh. Okay, take the peas, Whatever spring onion you have, throw it in because it's for flavoring. You know? All this will give a very balanced flavor. You know? After you're done all this, before all the sauce evaporates, you add your sweet and sour pork inside now. You know? Just take the pork in, throw it in. You know? It's still a bit oily, but never mind. You got the cloth, you got the paper. Is it? How much oil we got out from the paper, from the pork? Okay? Turn the fire to low you know, while you're doing things like that. Because if not, you find paper like that and then you put your hand in. Wow, now. Huh? Your hand all burn. Okay? See, I told you the thing will come in handy because now you're hungry. Take one piece, put inside your mouth. Huh? Then bring out the fire or the pan again. Simmer it. Okay? Put a bit of white pepper. Okay? The white pepper is the green pepper one. Put a bit of white pepper in it. Okay. Maybe about five dashes, huh? Then no need to put waiting away eh, because uh, all the sauces inside also got waiting away. Eh, huh? Give it a good stir. Huh? You can see the the pork has absorbed most of the sauce. Huh? It's very very delicious now. Huh? My wife loves this dish. Uh, once in a while I cook. Huh? I don't know why she keep filming the pan. She don't want to film me. She don't want you all to see how good I am in cooking. Huh? It's very very good. Huh? Sometimes cooking for your wife is quite a good fun. Uh, she will appreciate a lot uh, because you make the effort. Uh, uh. Every day eat outside. I tell you, eat long also. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is ready. Very simple. Very few dishes to wash. Uh. Take it. Scoop it up. Okay, see how nice it smells now. Wow, delicious. Huh? Uh. And that's... Uh, Sweet and sour pork for you. Alright. And last but not least, now we take out our, our rice, which is being kept warm in the oven. 